everybody, Mac here. Welcome back to our Christmas countdown. And yes, it's only taken me five years and seven days to come up with calling it that. But here we are with day seven, December 7th, Thursday, for our LEGO Friends Advent Calendar opening. But before we go any further, please remember, if you like what we're doing here, if you like what we pull out of the calendar today, go ahead and hit the like button, a small channel like mine, that really helps to get it out there in the algorithm, get more eyes on it. You would be doing me a favor and giving me a really good Christmas present just by hitting that thumbs up. Also, second, speaking of Christmas presents, don't forget we are in the final days of our Toys for Tots fundraiser. We're at 50%. All of the money we raise will be going to purchasing toys and dropping them off this weekend. The final day is this coming Saturday, uh, the 9th. And don't forget, you can do it on my coffee page. Link to, this, to that in the description below and the pinned comment. And when you donate, you also get access to exclusive content like Chuckles right there. Now, with that out of the way, let's get to the reason why you're here. This being my first year with the LEGO Friends Advent Calendar, I have to admit that I am pleasantly surprised with the things that we have been getting. We've only gotten one doll so far, but like the pets, the main reason I picked this up, the LEGO pets are fantastic. The little puppy in his doghouse, the fat cat just sitting on the stump, the snowman's okay. It's a nice piece for like, you know, ambiance, background effect. I really like the archway, and I think I already know where I'm going to use this once all of this migrates over to the Lego village that's underneath my tree. So let's see what we get today. We've gotten two pets, we've gotten three builds, we've gotten one doll. I am I guessed that we would get another doll for the past two days, so I'm guessing again that we're getting another doll when we open up door number seven down here in the corner popping this open and no <laughs> i'm just gonna stop guessing we got another build and it is way in the back and i can't get to it and what is this oh no it's not a build it's a little it's a little lizard on a twig that is adorable look at this little guy that is fantastic I'm really in love with this little guy. Hold on, let me get him out of the packaging. Let's put his little perch together, and I'll be right back. Okay, so first of all, this little lizard, this little gecko, whatever you want to call him, this chameleon, I don't know, completely out of place in the winter, cold-blooded. I don't think he would be very active, or would he be really active? I always get it mixed up, what cold-blooded creatures do. But... I don't care about that because he is adorable. Look at the big smile. Look at the big eyes. Look at the coloring of him. His feet form the, uh, the stud hole for locking him in to his little perch right here, which is just a, like a little holly bush. And he does have the socket up top for any of the um, accessories that we get for the dolls and the pets. I'm really hoping at least one of these bags that we open up, at least one of these doors that we open up this year, has some kind of accessories to start dressing these guys up with. Because I have nothing since I don't have any other uh, Lego Friends sets. But I really... He's just adorable. This is so cute. The, the, the spotting along the tail, the sculpt of him... He has his little feet, his little toes right there. Oops, focus in. He has his little feet, his little toes. His front feet are like a little bit more chunky than his back feet. The curve of his tail, like even just this. Look at that smile. This is fantastic. Perched on just like two, two plant leaves and make it look like some holly with like, you know, the red flower piece up top. So with this one, I know he's going to be off on his own right now but I feel like he should be the center of attention of this open patch over here. So we're just going to put him there for now, that he's just hanging out in this grassy area. <laughs> no snow, a little bit of warmth, the lights on him. I could put him over here, but I kind of want to start spreading things out. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get some stuff that we can, we can fill in around him. That is just so cute. And this is also just... Going back to the main reason I wanted this was for these animals, for these pets. 
to add them into like a Lego village. And I don't know, like I'm really, really digging this. In fact, I know I keep saying it, but I am really digging the whole Friends aesthetic for this calendar. The colors, the looks of these things, some unique colors, definitely some unique pets. Like, the Lego minifigure pets, for the most part, at least none of the ones that I have, have looked like this. Today was also the end of the year for the G.I. Joe Team's Hasbro Pulse livestream. They announced a lot. They announced a lot of cool stuff, and a lot of cool stuff went up for pre-order today. I'm going to try and get a video out for this evening for that, because there's some things that I want to talk about. And as you know, G.I. Joe, like, that's kind of my bread and butter. So I got to do something with that. So keep an eye out for that. If it doesn't go up tonight, meaning the 7th, I'll get it up tomorrow for Friday the 8th. And please remember me at Christmas time and drop a like on the video just to help me get it out there in the algorithm. And please remember the kids at Christmas time and just consider donating to the Toys for Tots fundraiser. If you can't, I understand, but it's just something that I wanted to get out there, give a little bit back, help out the community, help out some uh, needy kids at Christmas and help out some needy parents at Christmas as well. So until tomorrow, my friends, Merry Christmas, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, thank you for watching.